What do we got? We got some Dark Willow action. I don't know. She could slip through. You never know. You never know. See some Monkey King for mouse sports. Bat Rider has been in every pool. Meepo is still there in case No Tail wants to revisit his younger days. Nope. Ah, I was eating a common time. Oh, I didn't even realize the Earth Spirit was dead or in there as well. Lol. Instantly gone once again. Ah, uh, what am I feeling this game? Nature's Prophet. Get him out of here. Hate him. Magnus also in. What else? Uh, the Tinker once more. Geez, all three games now. No tell you. Feeling lucky. I think Gyro's been good, in every hero. pool as well, if I'm not mistaken. Unpicked, unbanned. Uh, Void has been banned a couple times. Visage has shown up again here, quality. too. We have the Dark so... Willow conundrum. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how much time they use this time around. Uh, OG has the first pick, though. So, mm -hmm. not sure if that changes anything. I will be shocked if they pick Dark Willow. Looks like OG are setting up for a potential first pick bat with the Legion banned out. They could also ban the Weaver next. If they did that, that would leave like the Slark basically as a decent laner against Batrider. Let's set S4 up for a nice start. Slacky Malacky. Yep, that's definitely a resolution here. They're True. just going to get rid of the Medusa. Yeah, Slark Magnus sounds pretty strong to me. Pretty much anything Magnus. There's a lot of good heroes with Mag this game. Troll Very good Jerax game, too. He has his Rubik, he has uh, his Tusk. Uh, they're going to ban the Rubik themselves. Huh. Okay, so what's is Nature's Prophet going to be the ban? Bat Rider, Dark Willow. I would think Bat Rider. Uh, Dark Willow's in the there. Jarek's Tusk. All right, and, Mag uh, Mag. All right, Rubik pretty good against Magnus, so. S4, Magnus back in, and that means Skylark, Bat Rider, and they could take the Weaver right away. I mean, remember, they first picked Dark Willow last time. It was available. True. Give me some Dark Willow in the Grand Finals, please. I'd actually like Nature's Prophet and Dark Willow right here. I think that would be very nice. Sure. Why not? Just leave the Bat Rider. Skip him. Yeah, skip that. Because Slark and Magnus is a very nice combination, actually. I thought Faceless used that quite a bit to great effect. Mag Void is also available here, so lots of team fight capabilities for OG. Now, Magnus... S4. He's the only person that is playing this hero on this team, if I'm not mistaken, right? On OG? Yeah. I would think so, yeah. Like, it doesn't... It's not a no-tail hero. Because like, he typically has a little bit of flexibility in his role, right? As far as what lane he can go to. But you've kind of locked this into the off lane now. Yeah. But it's but, so uh, good with so many heroes in this pool. I mean, look at all the, the right clickers. Yeah. Disruptor. Disruptor first pick, okay. Disruptor glimpse into Bramble Maze. Hmm? <laughs> Static Storm Bramble Maze. Oh, yes. I like it. I think that yeah, Willow I can't might remember. get avoided. It might, because there are a lot of good heroes. I'm not used to seeing this many yeah. ridiculously good heroes in the pool. Yeah, there's still we didn't even talk about Shaker, Slider, and Undying. I mean, those are three yeah. top-tier heroes right now still. Very tough drafts to craft here. Oh, man. I want to see some empowered Ricky. That's the dream, my friend. Some Jerax Ricky. Yeah. I, think, I think we're going to see that, actually. Would not be surprised. Uh, I think we'll see a Jerax Slider. 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 Yeah, Slider is also quite strong. Can actually get a little bit of farm thanks to Empower, I guess. Could be a Wraith King game. Yep. Uh it's just, it's so good. They have, oh, okay. they take the Ricky. The maybe next time classic. All right. So no Dark Willow. <laughs> nope. They've already got their supports, unless they want to play in mid, which I doubt. The question is, has Dark Willow gone through this entire pick band stage unpicked before? I think she did in one of our first Nikki games. Nikki is saying no emphatically. No, no. All right. Emphatically. All right, and there's the double bubble strategy. Yeah. 
This is my personal favorite out of the carries that were in the pool. So you know who's I'm gonna have great to with these heroes, Trent. Resolution. No, I meant with in addition to these two heroes. Who Not works well with them. Dark Willow. Dark Willow, that's right. <laughs> Correct. Bramble on Chronosphere. <laughs> Everything Bramble. Bramble works with every skill in the game. Oh, we're actually going to see it. Oh, my God. Oh, gee. Right. We're in. All right. I wonder if no -Tail would play at mid, because they have two decent scaling heroes in the side lanes. Mm -hmm. But I think we're just going to assume it's support. For Jerax, probably, right? I don't think Flyp is going to play this year. Yeah, Jerax no. makes more sense, but we'll see. We'll see. Five seconds uh, what's the no-tail hero, then? Assuming this is a Rezo Void. Definitely Rezo. Eh, not necessarily. No-tail can play they... Void as well. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like it's going to be the harder carry uh, out of the mm. two. Unless they do like some troll or something. So if we're assuming that you're saying resolution takes void, then what's the note? I mean, Tinker's there again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's my question, basically. Um, you play against a disruptor. You I don't know. Annoying. I think you end up giving this to no tail and give resolution something else because he has a lot more heroes that he's used to playing in this pool. Could be wrong, though. Like Slarky Malarkey. Not sure if that's... That's probably too greedy, I think, in this. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I think a no-tail Zeus is kind of tempting, but the Ricky's a bit scary. Yeah. Yeah, you pretty much, well, you get four staff. Looks like nature's profit will be the choice. Surprised it got this far in the draft. I mean, at this point, I think it was pretty much the guaranteed one. From is Batrider just going to be ignored, do you think? Yeah. And Eurocopter. Okay. Taking that away from a potential pick on OG side since it synergizes so well with the double bubble. And I mean, we really, really could see a third Tinker game in a row, potentially. Yeah. They have a lot of early game here for the side of Mouse Sports, too. Their last hero, I guess we assume it's a mid. They could Bat Rider mid. Actually, I hadn't considered that, but that could be kind of all right. Shaker mid, we also hadn't talked about, but depending on the two heroes that are left here for OG, if it looks like an okay matchup for the Shaker, that's actually a yeah, pretty be. decent hero for Mouse. I was thinking Weaver could be okay, but not great against Ricky. You pretty much have to get Hurricane Pike, which really sucks on Weaver. I don't like the Meepo this game. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't think so. I think Not Ricky's way too good against too well. Yep. Too many issues. You end up in the jungle half the game, and Ricky just leeches your XP, kills off the low Meepo. Plus, I don't know how Meepo fares in the jungle uh, now that they've changed it so much. All right. They're going to take it. I think it's the best hero in synergy-wise. Like That's what I would pick out of this pool to add to my team, but I did think mm -hmm. the Ricky was a bit scary. It's Nimbus, so, man. He just needs a quick force staff. A quick four staff Nimbus. And it also, uh, this could be a Jarak Zeus and this could be a five Dark Willow. Yes. Uh, it very well could be. Yeah. Five seconds remaining. But uh, if this was mid, could be still Fly Undying, maybe. Not bad. Or a Fly Shadow Demon could save people. And it'll be the Underlord. Okay, so support Zeus confirmed. Yeah, and Dark Willow support likely. So no tail, or sorry, resolution will be playing Void. Pretty much guaranteed. I assume S4 will take Mag, which yeah. means no tail Underlord uh, in the mid lane, which is great. I love this here on the mid lane. Or still potential side lane. They send S4 mid depending on the matchup as well. Right. They might just want to give him a lot of farm, get him a bunch of levels. And it could be a Jerax, Magnus, and a... No tail Zeus mid. There's <laughs> lots of flexibility. Uh, could very it well be as Visage. That's a hype mid. That's a really good. And he's got that six set, so we get to talk about that a lot. So for now, No Tail will be on the Underlord, and Jerax will be the support Zeus. And Fly will be on that supposedly OP Dark Willow. Would you say that she's OP right now after the nerfs? Um, just too too small sample size. From my small sample size, I would say she is. She looks stronger than most heroes currently. I think that 
uh, what's it called? Shadow Realm or whatever it's called. I think that ability is just insane. Yeah, it's good. How is that a thing? It's so good for a support. It's like a mobility item, but you're like scouting and you, you're just like walking next to them and they're just like, all right, what do I do? This guy's about to do his thing on me. Can you, do you think you can dodge homing missile with it? Five seconds remaining. I guess so. I'm not 100% sure about that because isn't it, you can't click on them. Yeah. But what if it's already going towards them, right? I'll double check. Good. I remember I was reading about it yesterday because I haven't seen all the interactions. Oh, it looks like Roman has the um, this crazy time dilation red particle now. So single target spells targeting Dark Willow, which are already in their cast animation, do not get canceled. Oh. So she should be hit by it then. Okay, then. Good to know. Spells which require vision to affect a unit cannot affect Dark Willow during Shadow Realm. Does homing missile require vision? What does that mean? What kind of vision? All right, so it's a little bit more ambiguous than we were hoping. So I guess we'll find out in the, the space of the game here. Glimpse is kind of the same deal. If you cast Glimpse, that doesn't dispel or anything like that. So it should still go through, I would think. But we are underway we'll game three out. of this best of five with Dark Willow being played by Fly. Should be a good game. And... The build that we've seen has been a max of Shadow Realm with a value level of Cursed Crown. And then you finish up leveling Bramble. So it starts as like a 1-3-1. One, one, and then you end up maxing Bramble second. Yeah, I really like their setup too if they're going to do the dual lane mid. That's what we saw Maus abuse the hero to its fullest extent. Gives them a very nice lane for Rezo to farm in. And it puts uh, both Magnus and Undying in their... Or sorry, Underlord in their best spots, which is the side lane. Well, MNT is going to scout things out here. Puts up a ward. That's exactly that what's about going Ricky. on. Yeah. I hate that Ricky can place wards and not be seen. But you know what? The hero's so trash now that I don't feel as bad <laughs> about it. You know. I like being able to... I, I never you get, get dumpstered. I never take use of the ward thing, but the phase boost, on the other hand, is great. Yeah, I just hate the wards. And something I have yet to see is his 25, the attack while invisible. That sounds pretty ridiculous. That's yeah, pretty funny. So you're just never revealed ever, right? Right. Unless you get revealed. Nah, mean. Fly. Uh -huh. nope. Won't get caught in the kinetic field. And it'll be a two for two bounty rune exchange. Everyone playing nice this time around. I feel like it's a 50 50 shot with mouse playing. Whether that's just a complete 5v5 fight or a zero versus zero. And mid lane resolution. So it will be a dual lane of sorts, at least to start against this Visage. Coming too, yeah. You the really MNT want to shut as down well. this, this damn Visage. It was so annoying. Yep, and there's the Shadow Realm being used. Wow. Look at that damage. 120, yeah, level 1. 70 mana. I mean, it's yeah. a 30 second cooldown, so I guess that's kind of okay. But oh, top lane, there's a yeah, skewer back. Skewer. Spartan. Homing Missile will come, though. So a level 1 Homing Missile. Leveled by Thug. Interesting. It's a very effective way to zone the Magnus. He doesn't have boots, though, so could have also been Rocket Barrage possibilities. And we're going to have No Tail on essentially playing the offlane role right now, but we'll be getting a lot of farm against this oh, Nature's here's Prophet. Fly. Yep, there's the Shadow Realm, and you still can't click on the hero when she uses that, which is really weird as a spectator. <laughs> Unselectable. Really I mean, it makes sense for, like, Puck, because she's literally just gone from the world temporarily, but I don't uh, know. top lane S4 is held in here, but they're not going to throw another missile, so never mind. Yeah, they, they do, but he'll live. They're being real annoying. Yeah, he will live for now. His self. And Madara oh, quite low level two oh, right now. Oh, goodbye, Sal. S4, the greed. Well, he came up close to the wave and got thunderstruck. I assume. Yeah. He wasn't oh, even gonna try to chase. It might have been just the ward that cut him. Derek's Roshan. denies himself all right. after using all his mana, I'm sure. Yep. 20 seconds. That's so funny to see. <laughs> yeah. To revive, but still It had to be time. done. The Skywrath yeah. mages were too annoying. Now Fly, able to get that bounty rune. And looking for some damage on MNT, and we'll get it. Thanks to the Shadow Realm again. So... We're not going to see Bramble until level 2, which should be coming now. Uh, I assume. Unless he wants to do something crazy. I wonder if 
after the first series that they played, where Fly was talking about not wanting to play this hero, or not picking it, that he practiced it in pubs. What do you think? Maybe. I'll check okay. for you. Why not? Yeah, why not, actually? That's a good idea. Fly. Being blocked here by MNT. It's now a two versus two. No Tail with the level one Firestorm. It's going to be very annoying to deal with, and a level one Atrophy Aura as well. Oh, he doesn't reveal his pub data. Sorry, guys. Oh, Fly. I guess that's pretty normal. It's true. Well, looks like S4 might be in some trouble. Thunderstrike is there. He's going to skewer. Spartan on the other side. Glimpse not up yet. He's going to get hit by the homing missile. And looks like bottom lane might have a kill. Mouse, nope, not going to lose their nature's profit. But S4 will live as well. So each opposing off lane are able to get away by the skin of their teeth. We're still hunting for that first blood. Nothing quite yet. I have 19 a feeling that... 10 for Rezo. Oh. Yeah, he's doing really well. Get out of my lane, dude. It actually goes Cursed Crown level 2. Interesting. I think... That um, very surprising. With certain heroes, it seems really strong, right? Like, I was thinking, like, for example, if he had the Gyro on his team, like, that's a lot of damage. And plus, with something like Firestorm, if you can hold them in there for longer... Yeah. But that's definitely true. true. The level 1 value is definitely not that crazy. Well, I'd be shocked if he gets more than one in it. I'd be really shocked. But if you combine it with RP, just think about the possibilities. <laughs> you basically have a second RP. <laughs> How isn't it a four-second stun or something ridiculous? Uh, three, I think. Three seconds, the highest levels. MNT taking the thunder strike, and there we go. First blood goes the way of Fly on this Dark Willow. Now has two levels in the Shadow Realm. And Jarek's gonna come mid with his invis. Got all the stacks on the Graveskeeper's cloak though, but. It doesn't look like they build anything. Maybe wait for Fly to come here. Walk yeah, perhaps. Well, there's the Grave Chill, but... Resolution still doing quite fine for himself. 12 and 2 versus 29 and 12. Quite the discrepancy. Definitely what you want to see if you're an OG fan. The Spartan finally has a glimpse now at level 3. As for... What are his yeah, levels compared to Nature's Profit is the question. Looks like Skylark's doing a little bit better. They're going to try and use the Invis. Yeah, Madara, he's under his tower. Fly. Shadow Realm is up. Let's see if he does how much damage he actually does. It's quite a bit. But there is the smoke cloud from MNT and company. And it looks like Mouse Spurs is gonna be able to clean up Jerax with relative ease. Reza wouldn't even cut his buddy out there, man. Harsh. They also both destroy each other's sentry wards. So Ricky reigns free again. Can they do anything on fly here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Shadow Realm again. <laughs> Look, at that Look at the range, range man. The range is pretty redonk. He's going to get zoned out here by MNT, though. There's the Cursed Crown. And you're seeing the stun come into play. Yeah, I need to look up the skill in a second here. Yeah, that's what I mean with the RP. That's insane. It's kind of hard to pull off, though, because it does take quite a while. But uh, in theory, you can stun people for quite a while. Yeah, I mean, you have a 0.75 discrepancy theoretically if you RP'd and did it at the exact same time so pretty pretty crazy Skylark will get the bounty run the hero asks for it oh, Skylark like attempting to TP out looks like he'll be successful top lane S4 getting chased down by the homing missile what level is that homing missile now only oh, still level 1 so just a value level for now burning through his raindrops though I want to see some brambles does he have the roses doesn't look like it no he does not fly come for on shame now. for shame <laughs> we uh, shall shame all fly pro fly players without cosmetics uh, <laughs> you must hate dota wow just in it for the money typical the thunder strike Top into lane. the glimpse he's gonna be able to skewer out but the rocket barrage need a lot of damage and mnt is here as well and that homing missile not even needed to connect it actually so reroutes just... to the creep a new change in the last patch which is a big buff to to gyrocopter Completely forgot about that. I mean, I'd like to see some max homing missile builds in some lanes and do some ridiculous work. The mid gyro strats. Yeah. There's a dire observer ward here. So once they come past this little line, they will be spotted here. Now they see Nature's dropping into the jungle. Interesting. 
Very early ancienting here from Skylark. They're trying to mm. bait a turnaround here. So they're going to pretend they don't know that Dark Willow and Zeus are here. They're going to bring in the, the uh, reinforcements and try and get a return kill when they go for Madara. Yeah, Chronosphere is available, though. Two levels of Lightning Bolt and none in Static Field for Jerax. Resolution getting zoned out a bit. Yeah, and It's a big old waiting game. It is. But, of course, you have the Nature's Prophet always available to come in as well. The Global Presence. Vanguard picked up by No-Tail. Oh, they're Going teeping the on Jerax top. And here we go. Jerax. Is the Sprout available? Do they even need it? Doesn't look like it. Right clicks will more than suffice. S4 is going to find oh, the RP onto two into the skewer up the hill. Do they have enough damage? He's trying to block them out. Their Firestorm is coming. Resolution. Skylark should be dead. One. Oh, do have Chronosphere. He might have to use it. And it will be activated just for that one kill. Homie Missile coming. Connects on Resolution. Call down to come, but he does have time walk. He gets smoke clouded though. That's going to be enough damage to take him out. Beautifully done. Great layering. No tail in the meantime. Vanguard up. He is super tanky. Can they take him down? Great against these birds. Seeing them not do that much damage. The Rocket Barrage though. Dark Rift. Will he be able to get this off in time? Soul Assumption's there. No tail. I think he's going to be fine. He gets clipped the last second after it goes off. Beautiful timing from Spartan. Oh, oh that's rough. Ugh. Oh. Couple of very nice plays, man. The the sinking up there of that silence as well to get the kill on the rezo, massive for them. Really important. They shut him down. Fly. Yeah, meanwhile, gets oh, off nice. the bramble, and we'll be fine. That's annoying. Yeah. Can you just always do that in TP? I, I mean, AOE stun is like the only AOE ground stun. Wow. Or if it's a storm storm hammer on a creep next to you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Will that work? I don't know, actually. I'm not 100% sure. Probably. Good, yeah. yeah. Uh, Rezo, stocked up here once again. So, not able to find I mean, he doesn't have Chrono anyway, I suppose, but... Can't even get a nice bit of harass onto him. He is empowered, though. Indeed. Level... What level is it? One. So, no biggie. But now, No-Tail is mid. He's yeah, gonna... Firestorm, quite good against Visage. Takes off those stacks in pretty quick succession. Top lane, we might have some issues for Jerax. Home missile coming. Sprout will hold him in place. And that's going to be a very easy kill. S4, RP up in five seconds, but obviously won't be able to use it here. We have some more stocking. You're right. MNT just following Fly everywhere he goes. Level five right now. Places the ward, and they know about it. <laughs> this is the worst feeling. Oh, he's even going to leave it. He doesn't want to give up the fact that he's stalking. He just puts the sentry down so one of his cores can find it later. Right. No tail. Going for treads. I I'm really interested what build he's going to go for. We're going to see like a Radiance. He has the Vanguard, which is super value. Probably a Crimson Guard this game. Not sure if you want to get that right away, though. Pipe's very good as well. Yeah. Against the Gyro, even the Static Storm. I mean, it's not amazing, I suppose, but... Uh, he's going to go for it next. Resolution. Chronosphere is available to use as top lane. Thug attempting to TP out. They're going to find him. The Thunderbolt is there to cancel the TP. Great scouting by Jerax hitting that global skill. <laughs> but that's a big kill going the way of OG. The position on Gyro. Birds coming in mid. Maybe they can do something to no-tail. No? Okay. I thought maybe there'd be TPs, but... Even with the Prophet ulti, they're not confident enough they can bring this guy down. They're probably correct. Yeah. He's at 1450 HP with the Vanguard. Vanguard's quite good against Visage. <laughs> Vanguard. I just up to level know. six. I don't even hear it. Vanguard. What am I... Say it. No, I, I enjoy it. Don't, don't let me st stop you from speaking Canadian. Don't let me change you. People get really tilted all. when you say speaking Canadian. They all get offended, you know. Those, <laughs> the guys from like the middle of Canada, Western Canada, they're like, I don't sound like him. He sounds so like an idiot. you're saying it's possible to offend a Canadian? Apparently. Okay. Cool. I, I've shamed a few of them, it would seem. Madara coming down, bot. And making sure that no one's TPing in for this tower. This thing is gone. Are they going to be able to do anything up top? Unlikely. There's a dire ward. They see Jerex coming in. They see S4 with this RP. Yeah, no blink, here. though. Another thousand away. And 
Yeah, nothing to come of that. But the tier one tower, like you said. Oh, a hasted chrono. Officially taken out. Go void. Oh, this is going to be a lot of damage. Level three in the Shadow Realm. Ooh, thug. Hello. All right, Chronosphere. Is Shadow Realm coming. Or? Bramble to follow. And death incoming. Gyrocopter Dunzo. Now Spartan looks to be next. Get us off a glimpse, but really, the Bramble again. Is that actually twice he cast? Oh, no. Okay, he never cast it the first time. I was going to say, <laughs> that's pretty broken if he cast that twice. So they'll find a couple kills, and No Tails here with the Firestorm bottom to prevent this push. One of the oh, best man. abilities in the game for this. Yeah. Also, of course, helping a lot with Roche, which is something they don't really have on their lineup. And Rezo, mad damage. As he's going to have the Mask of Madness and potentially the 20 damage talent in just a moment here. Plus, he is in power. Very hard this game. S4 building in towards the blink. And Shadow Run preventing more damage here. S4 has the RP into the Pit of Malice, potentially. Doesn't want to use it. Actually gets smoke clouded. And he's Courier? just perpetually he's just silenced there. right now. All right, Courier, freebie. Oh, that's sure. probably some bird micro issue, I bet, where he, like, grabbed the birds or something and then <laughs> yeah. went to the hot key. That's and true. Yeah. Gotta hate that. No-Tail has this man, <laughs> this mana pot, pot on him for the past five minutes, it feels like. Just he does have a mana. I think they can down, do it. He? he gets glimpsed back into the smoke cloud. Terrorize is coming, though, and they're all going to run back to base. Looks like Ricky was able to get off that ult, but the Bramble Maze will show where he is. And no tells still very healthy. Very, very tanky, man. And we'll be done with that hood very shortly as well. Relatively even game overall right now, though. Skylark working towards a an Orchid. Pretty damn strong this game. Oh, it's pretty much strong every game, let's be real. But in combination with a smoke cloud, that's a lot of silence. But S4, he has blink. Probably will try to smoke up with his team here. His resolution will have Chronosphere in 10 seconds as well. And it looks to be going Shadow Blade, actually. MNT scouting this out, though. Oh, oops. They just prop it ulti, though. So, yeah. yeah. And then they now they know. Like, yeah, it was Ricky. <laughs> Not a ward. Uh, oh, and he spotted this ward, too. I think. Not sure. Never mind. He just started pinging right away. I mean, I think they have the Wombo combo available to them. And I'm interested to see what Jarex is able to get as far as items are concerned now going forward. Because... Of course, Fly is the position five. Not sure how this... I mean, Dark Willow really scales well with items. Like, let's not kid ourselves here, but... Like what, though? Like, Veil and stuff, you mean? I mean, like, if you're a mid, like a core, oh, yeah, right? You I just guess. get the right click, you get the Mjolnir or something with the 200 attack speed on 25, but... I assume support, as a position I mean, five, I would just build, like, Aether Lens and stuff if I was playing this hero. Like, I would just want to hang around on the side, keep casting all my spells. How about a Kaya? I wonder if Kaya works on Bedlam. Probably not. Probably not. I think it works like a ward because blade mail doesn't work. Right. As for shows off his blink, so they know. And waiting for this smoke. The the inevitable smoke to come for OG. There's a double damage is available bot. Thug right now working on Mask of Madness. We'll be going for I the just, mm -hmm. I don't think they need to smoke on the radiant, honestly. I mean when they've shadow blade they can, but until then there's no point. They're all getting very farmed. This should be favoring them. Even though the net worth isn't that far ahead. I would rather be on the Radiant team right now. Yeah, Pit of Malice is placed in the mid lane. Madara trying to run away from this this fat no-tail. <laughs> and they're going to take out... Nope. He's going to resummon those familiars. MNT scouting things out. There's a sentry here in the mid lane for OG. And Roshan is already at half HP. Firestorm incoming. Or are they just saving it for the fight? CD Brain actually made are. it so easy. Yeah. They don't need to waste it. Do Salt just for safety. Well played. It's nice when he's the support like that. Just scouting around. Not too worried about getting every single kill and snowballing your hero. Oh, Thug might be in some trouble here. Are they going to find him is the question. Resolution. They see him. There's the RP. All right. He canceled the RP. 
because of the chrono. Probably right, a good save. idea. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. But either way, they find Gyro. Yeah. Now, I wonder if they think RP's down. That'd be kind of funny. That would I guess be. Oh, mid bit of Malice down. onto two. Jarex with a nice, beautiful RP on both the same heroes. And, well, Ricky does pop the ult, but you have to think he will fall very shortly. Here's No Tail. Where did he go? The bot lane. He is the answer to nature's prophet. What a great game to be no-tail, man. You just yeah. get to go to towers and throw firestorms down. No one can kill you. Oh, Lovely. the career. Skylark has to TP out in shame. Nice shield. Well played. 4K lead for OG right now. Yeah, you're right. No-tail's going to get a lot of farm this game. That's why I was Rezo? questioning whether he would and go for... Uh, yeah. Dude, Pops he's, he's fine. He's fine. Nice. He's fine. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> this is so typical Reza, dude. <laughs> and there is the Orchid. 17, so. Skylark really needs to find some kills with okay. this Orchid. And they're going to find a low HP Reza. They might be able to get this. Oh, man. Shrine's the shrine. up in eight seconds. Eight, oh, God. This seven, is so close. Six. Kinetic <sighs> field. Oh, there's the Orchid. I believe Faceless Void is dead, but that is just the Aegis. They're going to try to stun lock him with the Familiars. No Tail trying to get everybody out, but he gets Glimpse back again. Glimpse being used to counter the Dark Rift. Did he actually end up going back to base? No, he went for the no. tier two. That was his goal. All right. That's the one One good really fight nice here. Grab. And, and this was after powerful. that area had actually just been deboarded by uh, OG, so it was just good game sense for Mouse to find that pick. There's the Terrorize. Nope, he cancels it. The Bramble Maze being used to help kill the Ricky. No tail. Yeah, he is one tanky mother effer. <laughs> He's just walking at him. Yeah, he is. Oh, the call down comes down. Terrorize is here. They're going to use it. They're all going to run back to base. <laughs> Imagine this with Rupture, man. Imagine the possibilities. Oh, that's so annoying. Pit of Malice place. There's the Skewer. And yeah, Visage is on the wrong side of the river. I don't know if anybody can even help him. They're going to use RP to try to take him out. Very tanky with that Solar Crest, but not tanky enough, it seems. As nobody else is even coming close. Resolution with the Chronosphere available. He's going to use it on the Gyrocopter. So another kill on that position one Gyro. Just not able to catch a break. Thug. Yeah. And they just killed Rezo, and you're like, nice. Yeah, we're actually slowing this guy down. And he comes back in it. Gets a chrono kill onto your core. So, 260 gold for Rezo. Recovered. Building it towards BKB. Oof. Yeah, imagine this double bubble. I know I'm memeing here, but this is actually real. It's and actually you know like it. a triple bubble, honestly, because of the uh, OG. The bramble? Or the fly. Um, well, no, I was thinking more of the, uh, the terrorize. Like, it's just three massive AoE controlling spells. Right. It's crazy. But imagine the, the Nimbus on top of this. If he's ever actually able to get that, like, what do oh, you yeah. do? What do you do? Die. So much I damage. Think. He might end up going Veil or something this game. Looks like a Force Staff, actually. He has the Aether Lens intact, so. Surprised he got away without the Force Staff first. But the Arcanes came pretty early, so he can get away with it. MNT being scouted out by the Thunder God's Wrath. Looks like we have a smoke for Mouse. Aghanim Scepter will be the next item for Madara. The Spartan wants to set something up with his team. The Glimpse has been MVP so far. <laughs> it's been their saving grace. Yep. They need more, though. They need big kills. Oh, yeah. They need objectives. They need a roast with the cheese next. And uh, it's going to be very difficult with a pipe finished up here. Crimson Guard pipe, no tail. 2,210 HP. Yeah. And plenty of ores for the squad. They're going to smoke here on the Radiant, it looks like. Uh, no, they don't have a smoke. They're just grouping up. Wouldn't be surprised with uh, either an AC or a Shiva's on No-Tail next. Something to that effect. Just stack up these auras. Maybe a Vlad's. Does anybody have Vlad's on this team? I doubt it. Uh, Vlad's, I don't know. It's okay. I haven't really seen Vlad's at all. Why is there something that? better you can get? I don't know. Everyone buys Mask of Madness instead. It's a mid-tier item that's not quite as good as other stuff. It's a pretty low armor value. Overall, it's just not going to add as much damage in most games as, like, Veils and things like that. Or not as defensive capabilities of a Pipe or a Crimson Guard, so it's just awkward. Hmm. It's like old Atos. 
It's like become the old how far you've fallen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the new 10 second BKB on Rezo. I think No Tail could just go for a four staff, maybe. Or a Yules would also be okay. All right, well, here we go. He's going to use Dark Rift, see if they can get something out of this. Let's see if it's spotted by MNT. The smoke oh, pops smoke. immediately, and they know Thunder God's Wrath. Not going to be in time to find that Ricky. But they do find the Nature's Prophet, and Fly is literally going to solo him. <laughs> and the rest of the team looking for a potential Wombo combo, but don't think they're going to find it. 385 gold for Fly, who now has his own set of Arcane Boots. Help make up for the fact that Jerax lost his. Yeah, S4, he's, he's going to get Static S4. Storm. Oh, he just walks right out of it. All right, here's the big glimpse again. Whoa! The glimpse, and no, not a whole lot. Hey, that could that new change to how fast you react when you click, that actually may, may have come and play in that fight right there, in that engagement. He turned around real fast. Yep. Just speculating here. Rezzo on the other side of the cliff, looking for the double. Nope. Looking for the nope, Spartan nope. kill instead. If only he had known. <laughs> it would have been a really good chrono. But the attacks will be more than enough for him. And he's going to Shadow Blade. Not going to find anybody on this side, though. Yeah, MNT's pinging it out. He knows. Dang, he's going exactly there. Well, the good news for Mouse is Thug has BKB now. So he can... They can try to take some fights, but... And they're pretty far behind. 5k at 24. They're 6k at this point now. And no tail company. Oh, he could buy a solar crest actually on no tail. That would be the item. Okay. So yeah, solar crest pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, but he'll buy four staff. I mean, four staff's fine too against the Ricky and the Disruptor. Either Connect one. Field into smoke bomb here. No tail. Has the Crimson Guard still available? We'll get earned up. And Mouse, this is going to be a scary fight for them with OG having every skill available to them right now. BKB still online for Rezo. He's going to get the tier three. Just a little damage taken. Not not a big trade overall. It's definitely going to be a fake back of sorts. Right? No, actually, they're going to go oh, bomb. Pit of Malice. Right, no, Ricky's caught. Rezo gets off the Chronosphere. Gets glimpsed back, but that's not going to save the poor Disruptor. Spartan dies yet again. Looks like the Orchid placed on Underlord, but he's super tanky. That's not going to do a whole lot for you. Has Dark Rift available if he really wants to. <laughs> yeah, he's super healthy. Hello. Bot lane, though. Madara trying to split push. It's not the Nature's Prophet, but the Visage instead. And S4 will thwart it successfully. Oh, my. Okay, he might die. Oh, there's no, <laughs> there's no TP on this Visage, Oh, though. Skylark's here. He has the Orchid. He's going to place it into the Sprout. The, oh, blink the Blink out is there, though. S4 might die. And he does terrorize. He's going to cancel this TP, so it's going to cost Nature's Prophet his life. At this stage of the game, probably right. worth. Fly's got the combos down, though. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, he's got it. Madara. Oh, do they yeah. see him? They know he's still here. Oh, boy. That's... All right. A dead Visage. BKB is forced. That's the 10 second, I believe. Yes. And these birds getting pretty low. Let's see if OG can take them out. Pit of Malice. <laughs> it's so funny that these spells work on birds. Yeah. Probably a good thing. And changed. your initial reaction was right, by the way. Four staff on no tail. Yeah. I mean, Ricky and Disruptor. Makes yeah. sense. Ricky for sure. Now they have a response to that smoke. And MNT is on the long speed road. Over the 1% static field on Zeus. That surprised you? Wow. I mean, 40 move speed at 15 is pretty freaking good. But They're a lot of people hate move speed talents. Of, yeah. In, in terms of, like, percent change, it's basically the same. It would be, like, a 10% increase to the static field, and it would be it's about a 10% increase to his movement speed. Yeah, 1% is not doesn't sound that good actually from 10 to 11 meh the way i'd look at it is that as a support you probably aren't getting the most value out of your static field because you're not necessarily that close all the time so i like the movement speed with the aether lens combo bottom no tail again can they actually kill him let's see well, we'll see An dark experiment. rift is available and glimpse has already been used but he's silenced right now Gets the four staff off. Let's we'll see if he pops that dark rift doesn't have enough mana actually puffs a firestorm instead here comes fly with the terrorize again such a powerful ability. And Skylark is going to try to split push top. Nothing. 
And no tail is <laughs> he's very healthy. He's full yep. HP, close to full mana. Yeah, that's right, with the HP regen bonuses. And then she's gonna Kinda go for crazy. Roche. Firestorm will be used here. Cursed crown on Roshan. Not too shabby. Nope. I mean, he's not firestorming. I mean, they don't right, really need to, I guess. Okay. I mean, it's a pretty low cooldown ability. True. All right, so that is the Aegis and Cheese, I believe. And both will go to Rezo. He's very greedy. Oops. There you go. Oh. <laughs> it's four staffs. S4 almost done with his four staffs, so they'll have a couple to work with here pretty shortly. And at this uh, point, it just feels like really it feels like Mouse just needs a split push. Like they're 100% relying on Skylark. Am I mistaken at all on that? No, not really. But the catch is very good from the side of the radiant. I mean, we've already seen Fly can do it basically himself. You have a faceless void. You have the scouting mechanisms of a Zeus, and you have a, a Magnus. I mean, yeah. this is a very dangerous game for him. And then No Tail could still go for something like a, a Yules or something or an Atos. Just to help yeah. annoy Skylark. They'll find Skylark for now, but No Tail's the one outnumbered. Yeah, Don't think they can kill him. Though. Yet. He's taking the HP regen. HP regen over 70 attacks. Yeah, that's probably the right. I mean, he's <laughs> 90 he's Look, HP regen. Heroes. 90. All right, he's going to live. Right, of course, well, he's going to 90 but... HP regen. That's so stupid. <laughs> that that is resolution's really going to take this tower by himself. All right, no tail. <laughs> yeah. This stuff's kind of crazy with the whole strength thing, right? Because he gets 71.5% yeah. All right, here we go. A second attempt here. He doesn't have four seconds. He damage. takes no damage. Literally no damage is being taken right now. They're using everything they can. They really want this kill. The terrorize is used. Everybody's running back to base again. And no tail is still <laughs> super healthy. They have done nothing to this man. Madara is going to be the force. Oh, the nice RP. Was that an RP? Not even needed. What is this? The skewer into RP finally being used. And they're just going to call GG. I cannot blame them. My God. That was like that tight hunter <laughs> Kraken shell. That? He's unkillable. <laughs> Smart. He's like, what? What? <laughs> oh, my God. I goodness. don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what wow. happens when your underlord gets super farm, man. I mean, even that, it's mostly just the fact that the strength, he wasn't even that farmed. I I don't know. It's still difficult to get used to this Yeah. with this HP regen buffing. I've seen some games where I'm just like, I keep thinking it's a bug, the number that's being shown. And then, you know, they actually have that regen. So, man, uh, very well played on the OG Fly Dark Willow 6 0 and 8. Shout him out, the only guy not to die Damn, playing that dirty. OP fairy. <laughs> Well, I, I it. think it's safe to say that hero will not be played the rest of this series. <laughs> Man, that hero looked good. Yeah, he looked say. pretty good. Yeah. Big fan. And I like the way, like, maybe it's too powerful right now, but the idea of the hero just, 